Okay, we, here we have a contender barrel. This one happens to be a 4570 Thompson Center factory made barrel. And I've got my G2 frame on here and I want to establish what the actual headspace is with a, a cartridge. We start by establishing first off what the barrel to frame gap measurement actually measures. First blade, one and a half thousandths. I'll go quickly because we've covered this in other areas, but you'll see the idea. Here's the two thousandths blade, still slides out freely. Here is two and a half thousandths, slides freely. There's three thousandths, slides freely, four thousandths, slides free. Five thousandths. Uh oh, five thousandths is gripped. Check it again. Ah, see it is gripped firmly. We know that the gap from the end of the barrel to the firing pin bushing is something less than five thousandths, or it couldn't grip a five thousandths blade. Okay, and since the four thousandths blade still has movement, we're going to call the gap four thousandths. Okay, we've established what the barrel to frame gap measurement is. Now let's determine what the headspace is with the cartridge case in the chamber. This is 4570. We we'll use our headspace indicator to measure where that case head is in relationship with the end of the barrel. We line up the outside diameters of the indicator base and the barrel. Now we read the needle. It's on the right hand side of the zero showing that that cartridge case head is sticking out of the barrel two thousandths. Our gap was four thousandths so four thousandths minus the two that it's sticking out leaves two thousandths actual head space. Okay we're going to face material off the end of the barrel. I'm going to bring my tool right up to the end and I'm going to set my x-axis on the lathe on the digital readout. I'm going to set it to zero. Okay, I'm going to now take 50 thousandths off the end of the barrel. We're going to stop short of the rim counter bore in the end of the barrel. You can see we're getting closer to that part where the rim seats. We're at 30 thousandths now. Now we're going to go 50 thousandths. Fifty thousandths. Here we go. Okay, now you've just watched me take the measurements with this barrel and this frame and you've watched me actually measure the true headspace produced with a cartridge in this barrel. And once again, if you line up a hundred people, including most professionals, and you start talking about this barrel, showing them this barrel, and they see this big gap right here, virtually every one of them is going to say it has headspace. But I've just shown you by measurement that the actual headspace is only two thousandths, which is nearly perfect. It's nearly an ideal situation. All right, now we've calculated from our measurements that the headspace on this particular barrel, same barrel that uh, we were working with a while ago, the actual measured headspace is two thousandths. I've taken fifty thousandths off the end of the barrel. You can see all kinds of daylight through it. And this is to demonstrate that the amount of the gap has absolutely no bearing on headspace whatsoever. I've taken fifty thousandths off the end of this barrel and I'm going to use the feeler gauge set this time to actually measure from the case head back to the breech face simply because I've got plenty of room to do it. Okay? Now watch. And I still can freely pull out the two thousandths blade. Let's 
for grins that's a scientific gun shop terminology by the way just for grins we're going to put a three thousandths blade in there flipping it pretty tight yep once again the two thousandths blade actually it's coming out a little more kind of hanging up just a little oh I had two blades together no wonder okay there's two thousandths there it is nothing tucked behind it slides right out so our head space is still only two thousandths but yet if you lined up a hundred people and they looked at that barrel with the daylight behind it that big gap virtually every one of them including most professionals would say it has head space but as you can see there is no head space to speak of it only has two thousandths two thousandths is perfect my point is that the distance from the case head to the breech face is head space this gap in between this is not head space it has no bearing whatsoever on the stopping point for the cartridge when it goes into the chamber and therefore it can be a, a little bit or it can be a lot but this is not head space this is the barrel to frame gap only one more time the cartridge case head to the breech face that is head space we've measured it we calculated it that it's two thousandths we've measured it with the feeler gauge set after facing this material off the end of the barrel full fifty thousandths off the end of the barrel the head space has not changed the head space is still two thousandths this is what determines head space, the distance from the cartridge case head to the breech face.